Hi everybody, I'm Jared Pike. This is Shell Point today for Wednesday, May 22nd. On today's show, Dr. Trevor Elmquist teaches us about the newest laser technology used to treat cataracts. We'll also go in depth with the Apple iPad as Penny Modrich shows us all the potential of this 21st century tablet. But first, we want to remind you about important events happening today. The Legacy Foundation is hosting an academy class this morning where you can learn everything you need to know about Medicare. Whether you're in a hospital, undergoing rehab, or somewhere in between, there are some things Medicare can do and some things it can't. Find out more at a free academy event, All Things Medicare, happening at 10 a.m. in the Church Auditorium. And tomorrow, we have a Health Connection class called Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About a Hearing Aid But Were Afraid to Ask. <laughs> I know it's a long title, but consider this. If you're going to spend thousands of dollars on a tiny thing that fits in your ear, shouldn't you be educated about exactly what you need and exactly what to expect? Yes, you should. That's why we've enlisted the help of Jack Adams, an audiologist who has treated the patients in Fort Myers for many years, including a lot of them right here at Shell Point. His free lecture takes place tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. in the King's Crown community room, so don't miss it. And what if your issues are more vision-related, like cataracts? Well, it may sound crazy, but a doctor is about to appear and try to convince you to shoot laser beams into your eyes. I know, it sounds like science fiction, but it's actually the newest high-tech treatment for cataracts. And Dr. Trevor Elmquist will be discussing it next Friday, May 31st at 1 p.m. in the Arbor Community Room at the Woodlands. Here's a preview. I'm Mary Franklin here today to talk to you about a health connection program that Dr. Elmquist is going to be leading. It is on cataracts, but more importantly about a new opportunity he has to offer his patients with laser assisted surgery. And this program will take place on Friday, May 31st at 1 p.m. in the Arbor Community Room. Thank you for coming back again. Thanks, Mary. Glad Our to be back. Residents enjoy coming to your presentations and, and love all of the information you give them and also you always add some humor into there to make the, the conversation a little bit more fun. But you have such a great new opportunity available at your office. What is, what's this laser assisted surgery all about? Well, laser assisted surgery is exactly what it says. It's the laser is assisting a surgeon in making the incisions mm -hmm. that we have to do in the eye to get in and get the cataract out. Mm -hmm. And before, the surgeon has always had to do these things by hand. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes great skill and you have to be very steady with your hands. Mm -hmm. But now the femtosecond laser actually makes every incision that we need. And there are multiple ones. There's incision in the cornea to mm -hmm. get inside the eye, an incision in the top part of the lens to get mm -hmm. the capsule off, mm -hmm. and then actually incisions in the nucleus of the lens to soften it and allow us to get the cataract out. Okay. So, and finally, there are little incisions that can be made to reduce astigmatism, which will help sharpen your vision. And the laser does this all by itself. Once we line it up, we just let the laser go, and it makes those incisions very precisely. Well, great. So you're there to line it all up, measure it. Now, before we came on to the segment, you were giving some fun facts. What, and you mentioned a femtosecond. What Femto, is that? It's femtosecond. Yes, F-E-M-T-O, femtosecond. So a femtosecond laser is one that creates a very short pulse mm -hmm. in time mm -hmm. and a very accurate small amount of energy that's called a plasma. Mm -hmm. It's like a small lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. Very accurately focused and very short pulsed. Okay. And we can line up tens of thousands of these little tiny pulses yeah. into a line and make an incision with them, a very accurate and as I said, precise incision. Mm -hmm. So it's so much fun. Um, it's hard to get your mind wrapped around how quick a femtosecond is. You have to fill me in because I've never even heard that. 
Well, you know, you've heard of a nanosecond. Yes. That's, you know, how fast we do things. Is mm -hmm. I'm going to do that in a nanosecond right. if I have to. And that's, that's like a billionth of a second. Mm -hmm. And then even shorter is a picosecond, mm -hmm. a trillionth of a second. And then a femtosecond is a quadrillionth of a second. So I don't even know how fast that is. It's just and fast. it's an amazing machine that can do it that mm -hmm. quickly, yeah. Can you believe how far technology has come? I can't believe it. In my 25 years in ophthalmology, we were doing large incisions mm -hmm. with stitches in the eye to get the cataract out. Mm -hmm. Then we went to no stitch. Mm -hmm. and, but we still had to make that small incision. Right. And now the machine does it for us. Is the recovery time quicker? I, I'm finding it now. I've been doing this for about two months. Mm -hmm. um, I've got quite a few cases under my belt, and I'm... I'm liking it, mm -hmm. and we're going to do it in the right person at the right time. It's not for everybody, okay, um, but it is for our, many of our premium mm -hmm. cataract packages where we're trying to reduce your dependency on glasses mm -hmm. um, after surgery. Okay. Well, and you're going to touch base on all the options um, right. at this speech, but really that that's the new exciting thing that we want everybody to know about. Right. I'll bring some pictures about the femtosecond and show you a little bit more about it at the at the talk. When is it again? It will be on Friday, May 31st at 1 p.m. in the Arbor Community Room. You can sign up at either service desk and come and hear what Dr. Almquist has to say. I'm Mary Franklin for Resort Services. Make it a happy and healthy day. Okay, so it's the 21st century. We're shooting laser beams at people's eyes. We have magical tiny devices that can enable you to hear. Heck, we've even done a story about flying cars here on Shell Point TV. But perhaps the most amazing technological innovation of the century is the one you're about to see, the Apple iPad. This tablet computer can access all the information in the known universe, all without wires. It can send and receive mail. It gives you access to nearly every book, magazine, and newspaper instantly. It can play music. It can play videos. It can play games. It can allow you to video chat with people all over the world. Now, all of this may seem a little intimidating, but think about it this way. Tablets have been around since ancient Rome when students used to use writing tablets made out of wax. Then they discovered that slate was a bit easier to reuse, and so writing slates were born. In fact, many of you probably had little handheld chalkboards when you were in elementary school, and then you probably graduated to writing on a clipboard or a ledger, which is, come on, basically the same thing. Well, this is the next logical step. The tablet is now a touch screen, and the writing implement is now your finger. Again, there's no reason to be intimidated by all this because we have Academy classes that can show you how to get the most out of your iPad. We talked with Penny Moderich, the teacher of these iPad classes, to learn more. Hello everyone, I'm here today with Penny Modridge of Nautilus and we're talking about technology today and tomorrow in the Academy of Lifelong Learning. Thanks for joining me, Penny. Well, thank you for having me, Terry. There is so much going on in technology today and tomorrow that I wanted to take just a little bit of time to kind of explain it to people who have not had the opportunity to take the classes yet. Just looking at this um, summer session, you have 10 classes that all have an I in them or an E. Yes, that's correct. And you have smartphones and you have all sorts of things that happen with the iPad. Let's talk about the iPad and the iPhone first. One smaller than the other? Any yes. other differences? The iPhone and the iPad are identical, except that you can make a phone call with the iPhone that you cannot with the iPad. The only difference. So if you learn one, you've learned them both. Oh, that is fabulous. And unbelievable what's happened to our lives here at Shell Point, because you and Bruce Findlay are taking the lead and teaching all of these classes. And I also want to say you don't just teach the classes you think about what people would want to know. And one of the first things is, when I leave the class, what do I do? You've thought of that too, and now you're printing manuals. Yes, we are. We are, we are printing manuals that they can purchase through Shell Point. It's a uh, bill through their, their uh, monthly statement. And that is an actual 
uh, Apple user guide for their device. Well, so we, we have these phones and we're learning how to use them. Some people want to start with a phone. Yes. You know, we want to have that phone and then go on to the iPad. I know for me it was because I wanted a bigger yes. surface to yes. see and to, to do my um, typing on. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the courses you offer start with got one, now what? That's exactly, exactly what I thought when I got one. Exactly. Now what? And then the world of apps, an amazing world. Tell us about the world of apps. The world of apps, <clears throat> there are currently over 600,000 apps that you can download onto either your iPhone or your iPad. And if you have a, some topic that is important to you, rather than wondering if there is an app for it, you look it up and say, there it is and you find what, what you need, and it's amazing, the help that you can get on your iPad. Help information, barcodes. Oh yes, uh, if you want to scan barcodes, you can do that. That's amazing. Uh, you can actually check your, uh, your pulse rate. I have an app for that. There's an app for uh, all kinds of, if you're on this life quest, mm -hmm. there are all kinds of apps for your um, blood pressure, weight, if you're on some type of, of regime that you need to track these things, mm -hmm. there are apps for that as well. Yeah. It's amazing. And tips and techniques, I love that one. Oh, because yes. we know there are apps, we know that we can do certain things on our iPad, but the little things that might take us forever to figure it out on our, on our own, you and Bruce teach us. Well, when you're doing something, you think, well, there has to be a faster way, because I keep going back and forth, and I, 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 why can't I do this a little quicker? Mm -hmm. And actually, sometimes you can find in our tips and techniques that there is a way just to cut down on the time that, that it takes you to accomplish something. Amazing. Then printing from your tablet, Facebook basics on the iPad, yes. Apple stores, it's amazing. What I want to point out today, first of all, is how grateful we are for all of this. It really is changing lives and it, making things better. Yes, we see that all the time, and I love it because it makes what we do so fulfilling. Mm -hmm. We thoroughly enjoy it, and everyone has been so appreciative of our help, which is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Not expectant, but appreciative. Mm -hmm. So we are so glad to be able to share what we know because we are so enthusiastic mm -hmm. about it. Right. And to be able to share that with others, is it's... It's wonderful. And LifeQuest, the, the dimensions of wellness that we're focusing on here in our community, there are apps that can help us with every bit of it. Plus, just the fact of taking these classes of the educational dimension, yes. the social dimension, right. you can... Um, it could be a goal in so many different areas. It helps in brain fitness, let me tell you, because Definitely. you activate that brain and you learn something, and learning is a big part of keeping your brain active. Sure, and then there are even the games, the, the games that you can play, keeping your, your uh, fingers active and your mind your active mind. and trying new things. Mainly it's your mind, yeah. yes, and uh, it is, it's truly amazing because I find some who, have tr who really enjoy doing word search games or even just playing Scrabble on there. Mm -hmm. I play Scrabble with people around the world, and, it, and it's so much fun. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> it's fascinating. But the third thing we want to point out today, which is so very important, brand new and wonderful, yes, we have that computer teaching center yes. in the um, tunnel on the island dedicated to technology. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take advantage of it in June and July by offering some iPad, iPhone clinics. Let's talk about that. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, the uh, teaching center, I found a slot. There was some time open uh -huh. that we could. I could go in there, uh, me, uh, myself, and some assistants. Okay. And we are going to have an iPad, iPhone clinic where people can just come in and say, I want to know how can I do this and it's going to be just brief a little problem uh, it's problem solving if nothing else and just help them to get more comfortable with their iPads but it's not going to be a class mm -hmm. we will not have handouts it's going to be problem solving mainly thank you so much Penny we really appreciate this and if you are planning to take advantage of the iPhone or iPad clinic in June and July Keep your eye on the weekly reminder. It'll be listed in there. And you're welcome to join Penny and some other generous people who are going to help you with your questions on the iPhone and the iPad this summer. And 
keep looking at the Academy brochure because Penny and Bruce and a group of other people never stop offering you ways to get more comfortable with technology today and tomorrow. Intrigued by the possibilities of the iPad? Well, here are some upcoming classes that can help. Today at 1.15 in the Osprey Room, Penny will be discussing apps, the little computer programs that are available on the iPad. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. in the Oak Room, they'll be teaching you how to use your iPad as an electronic book reader and even borrow items from the library without ever leaving your home. Next Tuesday, May 28th, Penny will be teaching more iPad tips and techniques. And in June, they'll be teaching you how to use Facebook on your iPad. To learn more about all these classes, consult your Academy catalog or contact your local service desk. For now, it's time to cover all of today's happenings from Resort Services. Then stay tuned for your Academy news, menus, and Village Church connections. Hi, and welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Bev Chandley, and we're going to go over the activities offered here at Shell Point for you today. The men's Bible study will be gathering in the Osprey Room at 745. And then at 9 o'clock, you'll find Jurassic Travel in the Egret Room for their weekly visit. Also at 9 o'clock, we have the men's match play tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. And then also at 9 o'clock, it's time for the watercolor group with Phil Hilton down in the tunnel in the art studio. 10 o'clock is the time for the ladies' Bible study to gather in the Osprey Room on the island. And 10.15, the model yachts will be sailing down at the Woodland Commons Lake. At 11.30, we have a health connection specifics in strength training. That'll be in the health club. Currently, that is full. And at 12 o'clock, we have enjoy the saline pool experience. That's a trip down to the Naples YMCA that we leave at 12 o'clock for the island court pickups, 12.10 for Woodlands, and 12.20 for Eagles Preserve. Sign up is required for that trip. At 1 o'clock, it's time for chess in the library lounge. 145, there's a Health Connections Balance and Mobility Training Level 1 class in the Health Club. And then 2.30, head on down to the Grand Cypress Room and listen to jazz and stuff play. At 3 o'clock, you'll find the Bible Study in the Community Room of King's Crown. Also at 3 o'clock, we have a Health Connections class. This is Pilates Stretch. That'll be down in the Health Club. And our last 3 o'clock activity is Memory Care Group. That'll be in the third floor, Craft Room of King's Crown. You do need to sign up for that. And then 4.30, couple things going on. We have Indoor Bocce down in the Health Club. Also, we have Lily Company coming at 4.30 for their weekly jewelry service. They go into the Egret Room. At 5.45 this evening, we have Church Choir Rehearsal in the Church Choir Room. And then we round out our evening at 7.15 with prayer and praise at the Village Church. Thanks for joining me here today. I hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Hello, I'm Terry Koleth with your Academy Information for Wednesday. At 10 o'clock, we have the first Legacy Seminar of the summer, All Things Medicare, taking place in the Church Auditorium on the island. At 1 o'clock, a Computer College class. So you've got Windows 8. Now what are you going to do with it? in the Computer Center at the Woodlands. Sign up is required. And we also have a Technology Today and Tomorrow class, Apple iPad, apps, 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 in the Manatee Room of the Island. Please sign up at either service desk. At 1.45, the Computer College Prep School on Laptops continues in the Computer Teaching Center on the Island. Menus for Wednesday. In the Crystal Room, the Crystal Platter is barbecue pork ribs with sweet potato fries and carrots. The dinner special is the pasta buffet for $11.95, and the soup of the day is black bean. In the Island Cafe for lunch on Wednesday, enjoy mini burgers with grilled onions and fries for $6.95. The dinner special is grilled shrimp for $7.95. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill on Wednesday are linguine with clams for $15.95 or stuffed chicken breast for $14.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net.
Hi, welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm Andy Hawkins, the senior pastor of the Village Church, and this afternoon we are here with Nell White. And Nell, we have a congregation that uh, loves to study the scriptures, don't we? Yes, we do. And uh, as a result, uh, we do a lot more than just Sunday morning kinds of instruction in terms of Sunday morning messages in the, in the worship service. Right. We have a whole process uh, called Christian Life Studies, That's right. and uh, we're getting ready to start a whole new uh, uh, sort of period of time for that in the summer and right. uh, and so uh, now you've been involved in the Christian Education Committee and, and certainly helping to put this kind of thing together so tell us a little bit about the classes that are, that are going to be offered and where they're where they take place okay uh, we have three adult classes and one youth class mm -hmm. adult classes we have one at the Woodlands that uh, David and Elner Perkins are the teachers mm -hmm. They will be continuing in their study of the book of James. Oh, okay. Uh, th this is an inductive type Bible study. Right. Line by line, verse by verse. That's right. The people that attend this class are very happy with it. Absolutely. David and Elner are, are excellent. So an inductive Bible study is kind of like uh, let the Bible speak for itself. Right. Uh, so they try to get a sense of the under, understanding of the of a book of the Bible on its own, and then they break it down into its uh, parts. And right. that's, an ex that's a great way to study the scriptures. Well, this, this particular class loves that. Mm -hmm. And then our next class uh, we hold in the uh, chapel at the church. This uh, particular session of time, they will have three teachers, uh, Emerson Ross, Arnie Shuresky, and Wally Yeager. Mm -hmm. And these uh, men will rotate with their teaching. Mm -hmm. The remainder of May, they'll complete the, the book of Second Peter. Mm -hmm. And then beginning with June, they'll go into the minor, minor prophets. prophets. Right, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. and. I was just thinking this morning, they're not minor, but what they teach. <laughs> right. They're minor because they're smaller books. That's, that's right. They're the, you think of the major prophets as uh, like Isaiah and Jeremiah right. uh, and uh, Ezekiel. Those are the mm -hmm. bigger books. Uh, but there's some important things in uh, the other prophets of the Old Testament as well. Definitely. And so they'll be looking at Nahum and Zephaniah. Yes. Yeah. and. Uh, then if, you know, it depends on how, how the time goes, they, they could get into Habakkuk and mm -hmm. uh, some of the other smaller ones. Yeah, and there's some interesting things related to Christ in some of those books, too. There certainly is. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it will be a great study. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing that we have done for this class. We've ordered uh, study guidebooks. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, not only for the teachers, but for the people in mm -hmm. the class that Excellent. may would want to take a, a book home. Absolutely. And be ready for the next class. That's great. Mm -hmm. And then in the hospitality room, uh, we're going to be studying about the book of Ruth. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jim Riccatelli will be the teacher there. Very good. He's approaching Ruth maybe in a different way from what we mm. have always studied mm. her. He, he says there are 71 Hebrew words that lead to the central verse in chapter 2, verse 20. Oh, wow. So he's evidently quite a scholar. Yeah, he is. And uh, he'll, he'll spend time on the meanings of names in the book right and what he's lead will lead up to will be the lineage of Jesus Christ absolutely yeah right. it's always been exciting to me to see uh, how the Bible makes much of the the uh, the background the ancestry of Jesus mm -hmm. and uh, some of those people in the ancestry of Jesus uh, weren't even Jews and one and one example of that is Ruth, Ruth. who was a right. who was a Gentile Moabitess mm -hmm. and uh, so that's that's really neat, neat to see what God God does in putting together uh, his uh, redemptive history, really, in, in providing for the Messiah. Right. So it, it should be a real interesting class. Mm -hmm. All of these teachers are 
to me, they are empowered by God yeah. to be teachers. Absolutely. I've been, uh, in, in coming here, just uh, having been here just a few months, uh, I've just been very delighted with the level of instruction, the kind of qualifications yeah. that uh, yes. the teachers have yeah. here. We have some fantastic people yes, who've got a, who, who have really been uh, mm -hmm. into the scriptures for many, many decades in, in some cases, and uh, they really do understand the, the basic essence of these books that they're teaching. Yes. And, We're very blessed with that. Yeah. And all the teachers that you mentioned certainly fit into those categories. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Now, these, mm -hmm. these classes begin uh, at what time? At, at, at the Woodlands at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. and in the church at 9.15. That's great. So uh, you know, even if uh, they don't, aren't in the church, if they're on one of the other uh, neighborhoods like Eagles Preserve or the mm -hmm. Woodlands, there's a place out there at 9 o'clock uh, that they correct. can connect with the Christian Life Studies and then on campus here on the, in the church facility uh, at 9.15. And the, the uh, class at the Woodlands? ends in time for people to come to our worship service Absolutely. later. That's great. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you, Nell, for being here. We're thank delighted to, to see that these classes are up and, uh, up and running. And they start, by the way, which, which date? May 19th. May 19th. And go through okay. June 30th. So that'll be this coming Sunday. Correct. That's right. Okay. And so we're looking forward to it. So thank you for joining us and explaining uh, what's going on in Christian Life Studies. And thank you all for joining us yes. for the Village Church Connections this week. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow for a special edition of Shell Point Today, where we explore the new technology of tiny cameras. We've used them just about everywhere here at Shell Point, and as a result, got some amazing pictures. You'll see the best of the best on tomorrow's program. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, May 22nd. I'm Jared Pike, and from all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.